Hi guys, welcome to my channel I English. In case you see me for first time, my name is Adam. In this video, I'm teaching clauses. I think before I get the ball rolling, you should understand the meaning of clause. A clause is a group of words that contains both a subject and a verb. Here is an example. They play football every day. They is a subject, play is a verb, football is an object, every day is an adverb, all together make a clause. And now with the type of clauses, independent clause and dependent clause. Hey, wait, what is a clause? Yes, it is a group of words. And what are the type of clauses? Yes, it is independent clauses and dependent clauses. And now let's study together an independent clause. An independent clause is meaningful sentence contains both a subject and a verb. Here is an example. He will study for the quiz. He is subject. Will study is a verb phrase for the quiz is prepositional phrase. All together make us a clause. Do you still remember the meaning of a clause? Yes, it is. A clause is a group of words. A dependent clause. A dependent clause is meaningless sentence contains both a subject and a verb. Here is an example. When stave has a quiz. When is a conjunction word. Stave is a subject. Has is a verb. A quiz is a predicate. We can notice here this clause is introduced by conjunction word, which is when. But still the clause is meaningless. So we are really in need to add another clause to make it meaningful. I mean, I suppose it is really difficult for the listener to understand what meant by when Steve has a quiz. And this is conjunction word less to study. Oh yeah, some students may wonder what the difference between an independent clause and a dependent clause. Compare in the meaning between an independent clause and a dependent clause. An independent clause is meaningful sentence, but a dependent clause is meaningless sentence. Also, conjunction words such as when, if, because, etc. are used to introduce a dependent clause only. Clauses versus phrases. A clause is a group of words. A phrase is a group of words too. A clause consists both a subject and a verb. A phrase forms a part of a sentence. Here is an example for a clause. She plays a ball. All of it is a clause, an independent clause. Here is an example for a phrase. He is a tall boy. A tall boy is a phrase, forms a part of a sentence. Let's do some activities based on this lesson clauses. Here is a question. Identify each boldface group of words by writing ing for independent clauses and sub for dependent clauses. Remember, dear students, to ask yourself what the question asks you to do or search for the imperative in the question. Here's in this question. The imperative is identify and search for some keywords in the question to help you answer the question. Yeah, it is IND for independent clause and SUB for dependent clause. Hey, don't forget to get the answer key from the description below. Let's go for another question, shall we? But please don't forget to examine the question well.